In this video, I'll be creating a new housing for the alcohol-fueled bottle launchers that were made in a previous video. The design I first demonstrated for firing these bottle rockets is a quick and easy project, and if you missed the video, you can find it on my channel page, Nighthawk in Light. To bring these launchers to their full potential, I think the military-style housing really adds to the cool factor and could make a fun addition to airsoft and paintball games. I salvaged this 3-inch pipe and a few couplings from one of the first potato cannons I ever made, long before YouTube. These pieces pressed together make a nice looking shell to contain the ignition rod for the rockets. I'm not going into great detail here as to how this igniter is made, since it's covered in my previous video. The basic concept is that a barbecue igniter provides a spark to ignite the alcohol rocket fuel contained in the soda bottles. How to properly fuel the bottles is also detailed in the earlier video. The next thing I'll move on to is building a folding stand out of a length of scrap steel, starting by making some approximate marks for where it should be bent into shape. I'm using the torch that I purchased for my soup can forge video last year in order to make the metal easier to bend by heating it on the marks. I can now drill some holes to bolt it to the launcher, but before it's installed, let's add a coat of paint. I was indecisive about painting over my old artwork, but I think the army green better fits the project. At this point, I'll also give a quick coat to the nuts and bolts that will attach the stand. The stand is then positioned on the launcher, and the holes drilled through the pipe wall. Some washers are placed between all the surfaces, and a bolt fed through to be fastened on the inside with a nut. The stand is now complete, and the launcher tube is ready to be prepared for the ignition core. The wires are popped off the igniter so that it can be used to size the hole that's to be drilled through the pipe. To keep the core centered, I'll be using a short section of a giant foam pool noodle, which is pressed into the 3 inch pipe. This was more difficult than I expected, and it did take some grease for me to finally press it into place. The core is then inserted through the center of the foam. Notice I added a blast shield, which is made from a small bottle, and fits inside the 3 inch pipe. This should both protect the foam, as well as keep the core from going any deeper than it's meant to. The wires are then fished out of the hole made for the igniter, so that they can be reattached. Some hot glue holds the button in place, completing this project. You can help support my channel by checking out my sponsor for this video, audible.com forward slash NHIL. If you haven't heard of Audible, they're the best website around for downloading audiobooks, with more than 100,000 titles available. If it's your first time using them, Audible is giving away a free download of any book you choose through the link I've provided. I'd suggest checking out Rocket Boys, which inspired the movie October Sky and goes along quite well with the subject of this project. Use the link to Audible that I've placed in the video description below so they know I sent you. If you enjoyed this video, you can find a lot more on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Be sure to adjust your subscription options on my channel page to enable email updates so you don't miss any future projects. Thanks for watching.